Welcome back guys to another episode of Decentralized Chain, it's Faroz and in today's episode we are going to be talking about Selenium but before we do, if this is the first time you're here and you want to learn more about crypto, whether it's news, insights or analysis, then start now by hitting the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of my upcoming episodes. Now in today's show we are actually going to be going through the whitelisting process for Selenium. If you don't know what Selenium is, it's a launch pad for all the future Solana based projects and if you want to know more about it I covered them a week ago in this great in-depth review that tells you everything about the platform that you need to know and the future roadmap but today we're going to focus on the whitelisting process now they have a great explainer page on their medium which goes through the exist it goes through the exact whitelisting process everything that you need to do it's been open since the 7th of May and we're going to use this as a basis to go through the steps on how you actually do that. So we're gonna go through how you connect your wallet or create your wallet. We're gonna go through the steps on how you verify your wallet as well. And then we're gonna connect it to Telegram. After that, we're gonna then also connect your email. So there is a backup communication there in case you need to get in touch with the team. First things first, head on over to the whitelisting homepage, which is basically selenium.io, description below. Click on the big green button that says connect wallet. This will then come up with a pop-up window. In the dialog window, you will have an opportunity here either to create a new wallet or ultimately link your old Sol wallet if you already have that. A Sol wallet is the native wallet on the Solana blockchain. But at this point in time, both these buttons do the same thing. You'll get the same dialog window that pops up. Now, when you click this, you might be looking at your web browser and thinking, where is the pop-up? Have a look elsewhere on your desktop because the pop-up doesn't actually pop up directly on top of the web browser. It's usually to the left of your browser. So have a look on your screen. You'll usually find it, an independent dialog, button, dialog window, drag it up and put it on here. Now, first thing is very important. You need to make sure you save this seed phrase. You've got to save it somewhere safe. If you're storing it on online in a cloud drive, make sure it's backed up behind a two-factor authentication. Better still, if you can, then print it out, put it offline, put it on a piece of paper and put that piece of paper somewhere safe. Remember, if you lose this seed phrase, you lose full access to your wallet. So it's very important that you back up this seed phrase somewhere where it's safe and you can find it. And I will emphasize that point. Now, straightforward once you've done that and you stored it somewhere safe you go ahead and you click continue once you click continue it's going to ask you to put that same seed phrase back in again this is really just a double measure to make sure that you copied down the seed phrase correctly because if you did then it will allow you to continue to the next stage if you got it incorrect it will tell you that it's incorrect so then you can go back and basically start the process again for creating a wallet and getting a new seed phrase so here go ahead add in the seed phrase click continue job done next you need to put in a password this password is a local password to be able to get quick access to the actual wallet if you forget this password then what you fall back on is really restoring your wallet from the seed phrase so therefore that's how you reset a brand new password that's why the seed phrase is so important so we'll go ahead here and we'll punch in our password what we're choosing so let me just do that now quickly and then I will double confirm it. Once you do that, or if you get it right, it will say create wallet. So if the two passwords that you've put in are incorrect, this button will not highlight. It will stay disabled and gray. But once they are in sync, it will say create wallet. You go ahead and you create wallet. Now at this point, it just needs to send a verification transaction. It's completely free. So you just go ahead and connect that click I understand and that is done at that point you go ahead and click connect once you've done that it will now create your wallet so now your wallet's created as you can see on the side so if you look at your home page what you'll notice here is that your wallet address has come up now you need to verify your wallet here a lot of people do get stuck in the process you click on the button and then you think what's going on I don't see anything happening there is another pop-up that has come up on your screen and it is most likely behind your browser. So it's behind this browser window. So Alt Tab, if you're using a Windows machine, should pull up exactly what it is that you're looking for. And this is what it looks like. So once you've got that open, you just need to go ahead and approve that. Once you approve that, 
that stage is complete. So we are done with stage one and stage two. So now we're moving on to stage three, which is connecting your telegram. Now, the reason you want to do that is so that you can be kept up to date on the whitelisting application process throughout that. So very straightforward. You go ahead and click login with telegram. Once you do that, what you'll have is another pop up window, which looks like this. You go ahead and you add in your phone number. And that's the phone number that's registered to where your telegram app is installed on your phone. So I'll just do that offline quickly. Once you go ahead and do that, you go ahead and verify that. What you'll then have is in your Telegram window, and I'm going to open up Telegram on desktop to show you, you will get a message from the Telegram app. Okay, it will be called Telegram. In here, it will ask you to confirm where you're logging in from. It's just a request to say that a request has been made in order to log into Selenium. And all you need to do here is click confirm. Now, once you've done this, what you'll actually see is another pop up. The pop up will come up on the screen. Make sure you look for the pop up, guys, because it is there. It's always more or less to the left of your browser. It will look like this. It will ask you to go ahead and accept and approve that. So I'm going to go ahead and accept and approve that. And that's done. That has now connected you to your Telegram. It's linked your wallet to it as well at the same time. So if we go back to the home page, what you'll see is it will say that it's connected now. So now you will be getting updates from the Selenium bot as to how your application is progressing throughout the process, throughout the whitelisting process. Next step up now here is you go ahead and punch in your email address. So here I'll go ahead and put my email address in. Go ahead and click add and that's it. By doing that, you've basically entered yourself into the whitelisting process and the whitelisting process is a lottery. But also by doing that, you've earned one ticket, which entitles you to the free airdrop as well of the slim tokens. And that's it. That's pretty much straightforward in terms of what you need to do in order to earn more tickets. What you can do is go ahead and you'll get a referral link so you can go and send that to your friends and family in order to do that. So feel free to use my one at the bottom of the list. Go ahead and copy that down. And then once again, once you've won, then this will update to say that you've got in. And so what we've done here really is we've number one, connected your wallet. Number two, verified your wallet. Number three, we've connected to Telegram. Just please pay attention to the pop ups that come up on the screen. They're not obvious straight away. They are there. You just need to hunt on your desktop to see where they've gone. And then lastly, we've connected our email in order to stay up to date. And that's it. Found this content useful. I super appreciate a sub and definitely hit that like button and leave any comments below. If you're struggling with something, leave the comment below and I'll see what I can do to help you. Until then, I will see you on the next episode.